everyone Shea Bear 1000 here today we're gonna get the front end of this Corvette up in the air we gotta check this collector gasket on the bottom of the header to where it goes into the exhaust this thing is very loud on this side uh, also it's uh it's idling really high. It's idling at between 12 and 1400 RPM. I like to see them around 800. Uh, so there's a couple things I need to check. I was looking for uh, vacuum leaks yesterday. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I couldn't find any vacuum leaks. I am getting the vacuum line straightened out. But as of right now, there are no vacuum lines leaking, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, I want to get this, uh, see what I can do with this exhaust. I know one of the header bolts is stripped on this side. Uh, so I may end up taking that header off. I thought I had a, uh, a set of small block Chevy header gaskets, but... <laughs> so I don't know let's see what we got going on here let me get this thing let me get the hood up and get it up in the air and on stands and we'll see what the collector gasket looks like if there's one on it I don't know it's pretty loud it sounds like an open header on this side that's how loud it is so anyway let's get it up in the air and check it out Okay guys, before we get started, look at this tire. <laughs> I don't even want to touch that. Just from setting, it sat five years in a garage on concrete. Which is better than dirt, I guess, but then it sat, what, two years out here. I knew they were getting dry cracked the last time I looked at them, but see this was on the bottom. I moved it backwards yesterday. So I figure they're all like that. <clears throat> Showed that to Monkey, she's like, oh we'll just have to get a new ones. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> she's like, what are they expensive? Huh? We'll see. <laughs> uh, and this wheel does not want to turn. It will turn when you're moving the car. I do have this on a jack stand and I always keep the jack under something whenever I can just in case but see there's that header bolt it's not stripped it's in there crooked uh, I'm not sure the uh, collector gasket, let me see if I can get you under here. I don't know what this is leaking. Must be water, but from what? There's where the collector gasket is. I don't see any signs of leaking yet. But, yeah, it doesn't look real well. I'm going to go ahead and take them bolts off. And that pipe there should just sit right on the frame. What this does, it goes way back here, and then around here. Into here. Let's see, no, it goes up into here. Really weird. And somehow back out that tailpipe. Side pipe. Okay, but anyway. Apparently, he's the one that did this exhaust, so I don't know. Um, but. That's water. I don't know where it's coming from. Weird. It hasn't rained. Wow. Okay. So let me go get a wrench. First of all, we got to take them bolts out. There's just no way getting around that. And I'll probably have to drop that header down. 
so I can maybe try to run a tap and straighten that straighten that bolt out up there see if I got a gasket I may just get new gaskets and bolts are pretty cheap I don't like the tires I still don't know where this water's coming from uh, this has been painted all right let me uh let me do some checking here still don't know where that water's coming from <laughs> gotta be coming out of here somewhere yeah i see some leaves down in there okay so what i'm wondering i know it looks like two brand new nuts on the back of that thing but they're probably stainless um on the back of that collector so what a lot of guys will do me included we just um i know this head's been off of here what we usually do is just unbolt the headers from up here and move the headers back but in order to do that the right way you, you have to loosen that collector so what i'm thinking may have happened is they didn't loosen the collector and kept pulling this back and putting it forward trying to put it on and all that uh, what happens when you do that is it rips that gasket uh, and I know this gasket's probably bad so right now I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these bolts out I don't know how well that's gonna work and I gotta unbolt that collector either way because um, when you go to put these back on once you move that out of the way and try to put it back on it's not going to be right that's probably why they got that cross threaded like that so I'm going to have to unbolt that collector anyway I'll get new collector gaskets but what I'm thinking is I may have to pull the header clear down out of there I think this one comes up from the bottom I may have to do something with that steering column I don't know if I can get this to come back here far enough so I can get a tap in there. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, I got to get that straightened out or it's always going to leak there. The weird thing is the leak sounds like it's more in the center and then it's really loud back there in the back. So it may be blown clear out back there. I don't know. So let me see if I can get these bolts out of here and get that collector unbolted. And then... Uh, Then I'll bring you back. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's just three bolts down on the bottom. And then these six up here on top. There's two there, two in the middle, and two on the end. Um, I'll have to pull these plug wires off. That's not a big deal. There's still some wires. I don't know where this goes. That is a hot wire. It's been made up. Because there's the other end of it. Now I took that off because the other end of that's open and it's a hot wire and I didn't want to shorten out on anything so all right I gotta get to work but first the hot one today 90 degrees feels like 99 well time for a beer <laughs> I've been on this thing for you know a good 20 minutes anyway <laughs> maybe 10 all right let me get some cold liquid in me and I'm gonna go ahead and get those bolts pulled and I'll bring you back when I find out something okay guys so I got the header gasket out I didn't take the uh, collector off yet but you know I got to I mean I just haven't done it yet uh, none of these bolts were tight the very last one and they're not looking that great either well this one don't even this one don't even have the uh, washer on it just have washers lock washers and what you do when you put these on you tighten them down you start it up you let it run you get it up to operating temperature then you let it cool down and tighten them all back up again and when you got these kind of headers all you gearheads know you're going by if two to four times a year you're going to go around and tighten and keep tightening them but Anyway, so I get this out. As you can see, 
this is the one that's in crooked that was in crooked right there as you can see it leaking there center one of course was leaking and then you get down here to the end and holy shit this is a copper gasket yep look how hot that was this one wasn't even in this one here wasn't even in a half a turn this one was about a half turn these were about two turns each this one was the only one that was tight and of course this one is was crooked so I'm not sure like I say I may have to pull that header clear off to get to it I don't know we'll just have to see it's an aluminum head so you gotta be careful with this stuff guys you just can't willy nilly slap something like this together so I'll have to pull them plugs out of there just so I don't break them all alright I'm gonna call it quits for today so there it is yeah. pretty pretty uh, nerve wracking working around that tire right above that tire so I'll probably have to let some air out of it so it don't explode alright guys that's it for today Shea Bear the Myth the Man of Ledge I'm gone for now and we'll see you guys in the next one I'm going to do a garden update today it's doing pretty good while well, an onion update not really planning a garden um, the uh, tomatoes have not come up yet they take five to ten days so we'll see what happens this week with those and again we'll see you in the next one Hi guys. <laughs> Say bye, Brew. <laughs> Say bye. <Oops>. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys. Have a good one.